it's not practical for me to try to film pointing the camera at the sun because of the limitations of my phone that I'm using to shoot at the camera. So I'm using a light bulb. That'll work just fine for our purposes. Just know that when you're shooting at the sun, these values are going to be higher. But the difference is very small as we were, as we are about to find out. Because the key, of course, is you have to have the camera set roughly to what your shooting settings will be for the scene. And if we're pointing at the sun, we're not going to be using f1.4. <laughs> but in here, that'll work just fine to try to simulate the sun. As you can see over here, we've got these three red, green, and blue dots on the histogram, and they all have large numbers in them. Those numbers correspond to the number of pixels that are overexposed currently per channel. And it's no surprise that, as you can see, the spot meter is, if you can actually read that, is 255 right now, which means fully clipped. And obviously that is verified by the three dots on the histogram. So because we're at ISO 100, which is the only sensible ISO to use on this camera when you're pointing directly at the sun, we only have to change one register. So let's get in there and I'll show you what is required. I already have the register selected. It's preamp 89AB. Zero is the default Canon setting. And all we have to do is change it right now to the maximum reduction, which is 96. So we're reducing the gain, gain as far as possible with this one and only register. And so now let's go back to the live view. And as you can see, all of the histogram dots have completely vanished, even though the spot meter still says 255. So what that means is we've reduced the gain so much now that it's actually not even possible to clip anymore. And so, even though we are clipping, obviously, but we're not clipping the post amplifier level. And so obviously we need to increase that value a little bit. But I know from experience that we don't have to increase it much. So let's try, just for expediency's sake, a value I think will work, which is minus 90, which is still obviously quite a great amount of reduction. Now let's go back out. And as you can see, possibly, depending on how well the phone is capturing the histogram, all three dots are back and we're clipping the red channel enough to indicate there's a, a number there, which means there's a lot of pixels being clipped, which is fine. And if there was only one channel to be extremely clipped, we would want it to be the red, obviously, since it's the most sensitive. So this is actually a great setting now for these settings, F1.4, 196th of a second, ISO 100, pointing right at this bulb. And so if we now were to increase, say, the aperture so that we were to not overexpose quite so much, as you can see, now that we've actually got a great amount of detail on the filament, we still have that red dot occasionally flickering. Can you see that? And it's very small when it shows up. The size of the dot means that there are extremely few. And obviously when there's no dot, there's none whatsoever. So what we've got here is perfect. Perfect flow all the way from the light bulb to the memory card. So this is what you need to reproduce when you are pointing at the sun at ISO 100.